let's talk about Texas Tech and BYU. Joey. Because here's the question that I have. Here's the question that I have. How does BYU find itself in this situation constantly? <clears throat> I, just go back to Duke volleyball last year claiming racial abuse that could not at all be proven. Um, and BYU pulled out every stop possible, spent every penny possible, could not prove it, yet took incredible national damage over it. I, I, it's just repeatedly, repeatedly, Oregon fans chanting anti-Mormon things, or BYU may be the most abused university in the country. You know. And here we are again. You have Texas Tech players allegedly, and I say allegedly, spitting in the face of multiple BYU players. Uh -huh. And Joey McGuire, Joey McGuire says, nah, bro, that never happened. Jane York said he did not do it. Uh, I've seen every video, TV copy. I would ask y'all to go back and review the TV copy and and see that if there is a, I think if, if I spit in your face, there would be a reaction. And the reaction is that you either wipe it off or you hit me in the mouth. So go back and watch the TV copy and see if what everybody believes. Just watch the TV copy. It's nothing against the officials. It's nothing against 92. It's nothing against Jane York. They slow it down. Go watch the TV copy and see like just as a logical human being, the conclusions that you draw. So. Do you buy it? Cause I do. I think if you're Joey McGuire, you're loyal and you are fierce and you're going to defend your players to the last. And I believe his player says, what? No, me? So here's the gray area before we play this video. Here's the gray area. We're about to show you two highlights of when this happened. In the highlights, because of, of the angles and the way it's cut, there's no, in my opinion, definitive black and white, hey, I can see spit going from one helmet to another. Mm -hmm. Here's the problem for Joey, though. Yep. It's very clear. If you take away that component and you look at the head motion, right, and you look at the reaction, right, it's very clear something happened here. And... And this is not Texas Tech's first time. There's videos all over the internet uh, recently of Texas Tech players doing this type of thing. And yep. there's one that's infamous where an offensive lineman on the other team rips down the Texas Tech player. I'm sure you guys have seen it. So when you look at this video, keep in mind that that you don't see a loogie, but it's pretty you clear what's happening. You don't see a loogie. Yeah, yeah. All right, here's the Tyler Batty incident. And I think what you see right here is you just watch Batty's re reaction here. And you it, like it, it, it clearly something happened. There. Yeah. Clearly something happened there. And I, I you're, you're not going to be able to see it. But then if you look at the Eddie Hecker situation. It's it, you see this. And it's off camera there, obviously. Mm -hmm. But you see him go right back at it. But this is what I mean. So this is why Joey is saying, well, look at the TV copy, guys. Nothing happened here. Right? Yeah, it's it's unambiguous at, yeah. at best, right? You're, you're not getting detailed of, you know, does he have an infection or not, right? <laughs> like, yeah, like it's not clear as day. My question is, why would you make this up if you're Tyler Batty, if you're Hecker? Why would you, why would you make this up? There would be no reason to make that up. It's not like... Either one of these gentlemen are are un dishonorable or have a history of doing this. Like, I, I just don't understand. I don't understand why 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 would you do this? Why are you spitting in guys' face? And the honest truth about this is, it's just another bad look for Texas Tech. This has been a disaster of a season. Joey McGuire is at best in an untenable position Thanks. because now he's got to come back and have a superlative season next year. Mm -hmm. I just don't know why this, why now 
Is this frustration from the players? Because obviously, if you're listening, you know, I think it happened. I don't I don't have any doubt that that these spitting incidents happened. But why would you do that? Yeah, I mean, I think the players are frustrated. I think that, you know, I think that what you, your point about BYU being hated on a lot is spot on. Like, I think that BYU does get a lot of hate. And I'm not going to sit here and play Mr. Defender of BYU, right? Because I'm not even a BYU fan. But the reality of the situation is they are a good institution. They do have a good football program. And by the way, Joey, in case you hadn't checked while we're talking about TV copy, you lost the game. And you didn't lose it in close fashion. You got dominated. So... To me, it makes perfect sense. Oh, we're we're you know we're on the road in Provo, Utah, that damn state of Utah, and we can't go and beat BYU. They're beating us twenty-seven to fourteen. Yeah, I'm a player. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's run out some bush league stuff. And that's my problem with what Joey said. I don't take Joey to be a bad guy. I'm not even making it personal with Joey. But yeah, what I am saying is that is that. You're having a miserable season. Um, the excuses are over with now. And and the reality of the situation is you shouldn't be out here saying, go check the TV copy, nothing happened. When it's clear as day, something happened. What you should be saying is, hey, you know what? Uh, clearly, you know, we lost the game and that's what I'm focused on. And if if TV copy comes out that clearly says we did this or something happened, then I'll address it at that time. That's what you should be saying. Stay focused on football, not spitting in people's faces. But I also think at some point, BYU has to take the the respect they deserve. Mm -hmm. Because this continues to be an issue where they get they get bullied. They get abused, whether it's a, a the other team's players slapping you in the face and you do nothing about it. Or the Oregon fans, or the Duke volleyball, or the now infamous Texas spec, <laughs> Tex Spitter. Yeah, yeah. And... You know, like I, I, I just, you can't allow this to go on. You can't allow it to go on. Tanner Plummer, the BYU Homer and apologist who bleeds blue. Yeah. Um, oh, and, for real. and thankfully understands that. No, I'm not going to keep going. Here's why I think BYU is in the situation constantly. BYU is part of a church who claims they're the one true church and all other. Um, Wrong show. Sir, it's not that complicated it's, for fans. It's really, it, do you really think anybody knows that they claim to be the one true church? Do you really think some 18 year old kid who's a freshman at Oregon is dropping Mormon bombs at the football game because they are thinking about the one true church or anything? Do you think Pat McAfee cares about the one true church when he's making Mormon jokes? No. no. You know, I don't think anybody gets that. I serious think, I it. think people do it because it's the easy button. It, it, it's like, you know, it's like saying, oh, yeah, you're uh, hey, you're a wide receiver and you're only five, eight. You're short, dude. Like, it's the easy thing. It is. That's it. Uh, Brad says, I don't think you can guarantee it didn't happen with film. What if they wait five seconds for the snap uh, SOS and then can hit them legally? Well, I there nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed unless you're Bill Romanowski and you have 20 pound loogies. And it was clear as day. Um GTI Brandon, haha. Joey McGuire was the second shooter on the hill in Texas in 1963. There's no video of me, right? I mean, <laughs> to that point. Uh, Katie Raider, pew pew. What's up, Katie Raider? I've seen it over and over, and I can't tell. Terrible if so. You'd like to think it didn't, but I'm having a hard time believing that because Tyler Batty is a good dude. He's not the guy that. He's never going to be the guy that's putting his hand up. He's never going to be the guy that's like, oh, hey, look at me. I need – that's not who Well, he and is. that's the thing if you're playing BYU. See, you can't have it both ways. So you can't say, oh, well, BYU's terrible. And yeah. They're just a bunch of churchgoers. And then when you lose to BYU and you spit in their face, you can't then say that they're terrible people when you just said two hours ago that they're churchgoing folks who are great people and have no business playing football. I can see that Texas Tech is frustrated. I can yeah. see that – Texas Tech is probably thirsty for leadership. I can see that. I understand why. I mean, you're you're getting beat yeah. again. Like I I understand it. Nobody is just going to do that two times. Well, that's probably true. BYU playing the persecution card? No way. Josh says. Well, yeah. That I, I they they seem to always be a victim. I don't disagree. The not welcome to the nightmare. Back into the left. The, uh, was there a second spitter? 
So the second got um, it's the Kennedys. Um, um, okay, Boyd Lake. Uh, it was two players and a ref that are saying it happened. That's what I'm saying. Spitting is worse than sign stealing. Ask the FBI. Yeah, I'm not talking about that. FBI's on campus in Lubbock. Because it's illegal. By the Detroit Free Press. Boyd Lake, flag goes up before Batty tells the ref. It does. Absolutely, it does. Uh, AAR says, having some kind of conversation. So, where are we going to dinner tonight? GTI Brandon, he takes his mouth guard out, looks around, and then you see the clear spitting motion. Yeah. It's trash. It's it is not good. Yeah. OG Gary, because they have a spitting fetish and wanted it. Wow. Wow, Trevor Bauer. Sorry, folks, that's what it is. Take it easy. Matthew Farmer, tech seems to have a lack of leadership. I would agree with that. (laughs) There you go. Cheesy. Bill Romanowski disagrees. Do you remember the Bill Romanowski spitting thing? Dude, it where it's like hanging off his face mask. Spitting what? Bill Romanowski's like spitting. No, I did not. What? Me? Who? Come on. Hey, the big Lubbock. Well, well, well. <laughs> now, listen, guys. Well, well, well. Listen, guys. They guys. went to Laramie's much higher up on the elevation chain. Guys, guys, guys. All those down here. Laramie's up here. We're coming to kick that Mormon ass. I believe those are direct quotes. Hey, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb, and I haven't seen your comment yet. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say you're going to defend Joey and the Red Raiders. I let, can't, let me guess. I can't see any head or neck bowing or motion. I don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Who the hell knew? Come on, dude. Yeah. I mean, if you look at where the flag comes out, watch just watch the flag go up in the second shot. Goes up right there. Right. I mean, you guys, it is, and there doesn't have to be some kind of crazy. Why, I just ask again, why would Tyler Batty do that? Why would he say, hey, he spit on me? Why would he do that? I, I just, I, I think it it is what it is. You're never going to know. And half the fans are going to say no. Half the fans are going to say he's a, yeah. you know, he's a phlegm spitting freak. Like, I get it. I get it. I, it just is. It is what it is. Uh, the Christie, Texas Tech is foaming at the mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, they were, it was sweat. You know, uh, 93 uh, or 1939 national champion. Texas complained about racist remarks from BYU back in 1988. I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did. Katie Raider, Texans uh, don't really have those type of biases. We support the Jews as well. No issue there in general. (laughs) Hey, man, I'll take your word for it. I don't think it's an anti-Mormon thing. Let's spit on the Mormons. That's not what this was. No. This was a, I'm not happy. I'm going to spit on somebody moment. Yeah. That's what it was. Cyclone Steve, I like BYU, but they need to lose to uh, Iowa State in three weeks. <laughs> you know. Matthew Farmer says, old Bill. Good old Bill Romanowski. One of the scariest humans ever. You ever stand next to people and you're just like, hmm, is this guy going to slash my throat? Oh, dear. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Bill Romanowski is a nut and it, he just, he just has an aura about him, dude, where you're worried that he is going to yeah. unalive you. <laughs> That's what you worry about. <laughs> Jeff Woodworth, Keith Hernandez, uh, Seinfeld episode. Okay. Okay. Josh Holt, the ref was staring at them. He was, he was, you know, uh, 1984. Does BYU have 12, 16 video angles? At the game, you can see the various shots on the board this past Saturday. It, it, it's been adjudicated already. I mean, it, 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 it. this is simply sports fans sitting around talking about it. Uh, Aaron Wilson gifts a Monty. Let's go, baby. Thank you very much. Aaron, good to see you. Fresh out. Gumby Fresh out says there he is. Yes. Uh, Matthew Farmer, Dwayne Thomas was scary. Do you ever just get like, you know what I mean? When you stand next to somebody yeah, and you're just like, dude, bro, who the f- is that guy? Yeah, <laughs> right? dude. You're like, oh, yeah, dude. Jeff Woodward. Who the f- is that guy? Aaron spitting out memberships. That's right. So he's spitting out members. It's, he's, 
I spit on him. Jeremy uh, Severe, Texas Tech won the spitting contest. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. No, I'm not doing it. Aaron Wilson, don't want to make anyone uncomfortable for donating towards a show since I'm poor. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, it was a valid point. Don't get all pissed. Is that what he's talking about? Yes. Yes, that's what he's talking about. No, I'm not going to detail it. No. But it, whatever. It's a valid point. Yeah. That many people have brought up, Aaron. Yeah. Gumby fresh out. More like spitting out watermelon seeds. What does that mean? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Is he spitting his teeth out? Uh, Ron Nolan thought it was spit, but it's not. There you go. He sneezed. Yeah. He sneezed. Okay. Nobody likes losing to BYU. Nobody. Uh, wet blanket, meat judging. Okay. I mean, listen. Meat judging. What you do in your free time is is up to Hold you. Hold the uh, Okay. Uh, Monty, I tagged you in a Twitter post with a better angle of Heckard. Yeah, I've seen that angle from Hecker, but I appreciate you tagging me uh, as always. Thank you very much. Um, I just don't know. Um, I just don't know what the, honestly, I, I really just don't know what the outcome would be here. It's over with it, it. It just is. I just think it's interesting that we continue to be involved in this repeatedly at yes. BYU. Yes. Like we keep talking about it. We keep hearing about it. We keep dealing with it mm -hmm. that BYU is always in the middle of controversies. And, uh, you know, it, like it, it, it is remarkable to me that it just keeps, it just keeps happening. Yeah. Cause I don't think that BYU is the tough kid at the, at the playground, you know, BYU doesn't come off as like, Oh, you think you can spit in my face? Yeah. We're going to take a run at your quarterback's knees. Right? Like that's not BYU. Never. And, and I think that's great, but I also think that's terrible. I, I think on a football field, and this is what we talked about last year with Idaho, Idaho State. Idaho State punched you in the mouth, right? Like, Idaho State was was playing super physical football with you, and BYU fan knows exactly what I'm talking about with Kalani being a little soft in that game. And, and it was a concern I had going in the Big 12. You know, you knew the Big 12 was going to be a bigger, more physical league, and you knew people were going to try and take advantage of you. Yeah. And, I'm not saying that Texas Tech took advantage of you because you beat them and you beat them soundly, but I would love, love to see a BYU safety or a BYU linebacker drop someone to prove a point, even if that call was was a penalty. Would yeah. love to see him prove a point. Yep. Hour number two of the Monty Show presented by Sound Sleep Medical, soundsleepmedical.com. We have a great contest for you. We are sending you to Las Vegas to see the Raiders take on the Vikings on December 10th. Mrs. Monty wants to go to the game, so we may well join you in Las Vegas uh, on that weekend because some of us um, who aren't ball and chained are going to be in Kansas City. You're casual. Um, so they won't be around, uh, you know, <coughs> and stuff. Um, <coughs> we may well join you, especially in the treehouse at Mastro's Ocean Club because – we're giving you two tickets to the Raiders Vikings game, dinner for two at Mastro's Ocean Club. You get two nights at the Flamingo, and we're going to give you a two hundred dollar Visa gift card to get you to Las Vegas. And it's all thanks to our friends at Sound Sleep Medical, SoundSleepMedical.com backslash Monty. Snoring's a big deal, you guys. You know, it's one of those things where a lot of us don't even know that we're snoring, right? Because you're sleeping. So there's a lot of people who snore loudly and they only find out through embarrassment from their spouse. And it's been amazing going through this process with Sound Sleep Medical because I've heard from so many people, so many gentlemen on our show have said, oh man, I sent my wife for the, the home sleep evaluation because she snores. I've heard so many times, hey, my wife sleeps in a different room. You don't have to deal with that. It's Sound Sleep Medical. They have easy to use custom fit solutions. It's a it's a mouthpiece that is made directly for you, custom fit. It's not a CPAP machine. It's not loud. It's not a it's not something you got to worry about all this bacteria and fluid and disinfecting and can I travel with it? No friends, it Sound Sleep Medical. They have an easy custom fit device ready for you. Treat snoring and sleep apnea with no masks and no tubes. Just better, healthier sleep with Sound Sleep Medical. Use code MONTY, M-O-N-T-Y, to schedule a free sleep assessment today.
That's right. Get it done now. Here's how you win the, the trip to Vegas. It's really easy. Soundsleepmedical.com uh, backslash Monty. All you do is go there and sign up for your free at-home sleep evaluation. And then take a screenshot of it. Send it to Jake on Twitter or Instagram, SLC Jake. Or you can send it to me, The Monty Show, M-O-N-T-Y, The Monty Show on Twitter and Instagram. If you are a member of the show, let's say you are a entry-level member, $1.99. Take a screenshot that you signed up for the sleep evaluation. You get 10 times the entries to win the Las Vegas Raiders trip. If you are a members-only content member of the show, $10 a month, you're in our Instagram members-only group, and you sign up for the at-home sleep study, you get 25 to one entries. So for every one entry that somebody who's not a member signs up for, like, cause you can sign up, even if you're not a member, go to soundsleepmedical.com slash Monty. You sign up, you're in, you get one entry. If you're a entry level member of the show, you get 10 entries for everybody else's one. If you support us and your members only content at $10 a month, you get 25 entries for everybody else's one. See how that works? We always going to reward you. If you support us, we're going to support you. Soundsleepmedical.com slash Monty. All right, let's bring you the biggest stories in sports. By the way, a big shout out. Uh, Gabriel, a member for four months, says, Howdy, Monty. Did you see Stephen A. go after Adrian uh, Anthony Davis? Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I did. We'll talk NBA hoop coming up in about uh, 20 minutes. Uh, Aaron Wilson gifts another membership to the Monty Show. Thank you, Aaron. We're going to have to talk about Aaron coming up on the show this week. We'll do that. Uh, Darren Ingram. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Look well. who it is. Everybody's favorite. Uh, Mr. I can drive at 350 and hit my 60 degree 140. I'm him. So Darren Ingram, he's our guy up at Canyons Golf in Park City. Uh, he is my personal golf instructor because he is a PGA professional. Um, will you please do something about my driver? Yeah. Thanks. Help me. Help me. I'm the one that deals with it. Okay. Help me. My drivers. Are right. <laughs> I'm actually happy. I will say we played Sol soldier hollow over the weekend. You actually played really well. Though. My irons were fantastic. It's just that driver is still a high fate. I, I think, yeah, it doesn't matter. I need a hosel adjustment on the driver. Yeah. It's all about the hosel, you know, but uh, anyway, <laughs> Yeah, but and if you're in Utah, you got to see my guy for golf lessons yeah, over dude, the winter. Come on. Yeah. Because I am not going to stop playing golf. Nope. I am not. There was a par three up at Soldier Hollow. I can't remember. I took a six iron out and banged it within five feet of that par three. It was a beautiful, beautiful. Mm, it was amazing. Anyway, Darren Ingram, good to see you, my guy. Uh, if you need golf lessons, seriously, Darren's great. If you're in the state of Utah, get with Darren. Uh, and if you're not in the state of Utah, you can do it over video. You can send him videos. Um, he's great about, about uh, teaching online. Hook it up. Get to Darren Ingram. 